Hello and welcome to e-lectures. I am Surya Gayatri SJK, third year BA English student of St. Cyril's College, Adur. Here, I am going to analyze two movies which are prescribed for suggested viewing in our film studies paper. First one is a film titled Man with a Movie Camera and the other one is Citizen Kane. First, let's analyze the film Man with a Movie Camera. Man with a Movie Camera is a part documentary and part cinematic art film which was released in 1929. The film was directed by Ziga Vyartov, an indisputable film pioneer of Soviet cinema. He belonged to a radical group of filmmakers called Kinoks that aimed to abolish non-documentary style of filmmaking. The movie was edited by his wife Elizaveta Svilova and shot and starred by his brother Mikhail Kaufman. This is an unprecedented film that establishes unconventional narrative structure. Man with a Movie Camera is a silent avant-garde documentary. It is a Soviet cinema emerged out of the constructivist art movement of the early 20th century. This movie expanded film language by experimenting with visual storytelling, narrative construction and cinematic style conventions. This film used the camera, which is a new piece of technology at the time, to create an image of Soviet Russia. Man with a Movie Camera spins the ordinary working of city life into a hallucinatory montage of the Soviet Union in a frantic constant motion. This film is an experiment in cinematic communication of real events. Overly staged or rehearsed elements, lead actors, plot, titles and narration is absent in this film. The film chronicles the mundane events of the Soviet cities of Moscow, Kiev and Odessa. It portrays an impressionistic view of urban daily life seen from a purely cinematic perspective. Man with a Movie Camera is merely an account of the crazy adventures of an artist that is a man or a filmmaker who is hell-bent on exploring the possibilities that come with a newly discovered medium of art which is camera or film. The only actor Mikhail Kaufman is seen to be carrying a lightweight camera at the highest rooftops, smokestacks as well as deep into factories and mines to capture extraordinary images. This movie shows image of life and death, marriage and divorce, young and old as well as work and recreation. The main theme of this movie is political in nature. It shows a proletariat-dominated society under the rule of Lenin. All scenes of this movie show people in mass enjoying and partaking in the same action, whether it be working, travel or recreation. In this movie, all individuals work and all do similar jobs irrespective of sex or class. For the director, this movie was an instrument in communicating state propaganda. Vierthov experimented with editing techniques and stylistic images as a way to rid cinema of its bourgeois elements. This film employs cinematic techniques such as double exposure, fast and slow motion, split screens, touch or tilted angle, jump cuts, montage, framing, camera movement, etc. Man with a Movie Camera became revolutionary in the way it used techniques of film editing such as constructive or linkage editing and intellectual montage and how it helped to narrate a story without a storyline. This movie pushed the boundaries of visual language. The film Man with a Movie Camera and its director Ziga Vyartov influenced French New Wave cinema and a sub-movement called Cinema Verité which is translated as Film Truth. In 2012, in a poll conducted by the British film magazine Sight and Sound, Man with a Movie Camera was voted the 8th best film ever made and in 2014, it became the greatest documentary of all time. The movie emphasizes that film can go anywhere and use editing techniques as a way of creating a narrative rather than relying on actors and script. And that's all about the film, Man with a Movie Camera. 
Now let's move on to the analysis of the film titled Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane is an American film drama which was released in 1941. This film was directed, produced and co-written by Orson Welles who also starred in the lead role. This film was Orson Welles' debut as a film director. Citizen Kane is hailed by many critics as one of the greatest movies of all time. This movie centers on the rise and fall of a publishing magnate, Charles Foster Kane. Though this is a feature film, many critics argue that Citizen Kane, with its inventive use of lighting and shadow, is a first film noir or at least the predecessor of noir. Citizen Kane introduced Hollywood to a creative potential of cinematic technique. This is a film in the tradition of German Expressionism as well as externalized the subjectivity of his characters by means of psychologically charged settings, acute camera angles, distorting lenses and disconcerting camera movements. Citizen Kane portrays the story of a fictional magnate, Charles Foster Kane. The movie begins as Kane dies while holding a snow globe. Just before his death, he whispers a word, Rosebud. As newsrooms are deciding on how to present the life and death of Kane, one newsroom focuses on that particular word, Rosebud. A reporter named Jerry Thompson was sent out to interview the friends and acquaintances of Kane to uncover the meaning of his final utterance that is Rosebud. The reporter fails to penetrate through the mystery of the elusive man's final word despite his efforts. The central character, Charles Foster Kane's life, is loosely associated with the life of a wealthy and well-known magnate, William Randolph Hearst. This movie is made mostly of flashbacks where Kane's friends and acquaintances are seen to be narrating his story after his death. This movie employs several innovative and stylistic techniques of the time such as temporal jump cuts, non-linear sequence of events, deep focus, cinematography, montage, different camera angles including low angle revealing set ceilings and chiaroscuro lighting. Citizen Kane is remarkable for its cinematic and narrative techniques as well as experimental innovations. This film made its most significant contribution to cinematography, which came from the use of the technique of deep focus. This film employs creative storytelling techniques combining non-linear narrative from multiple point of view. Citizen Kane is often compared to Akira Kurosawa's Rashomon because of this complicated plot structure told by multiple characters. The principal cast of this film were not Hollywood actors, rather they were theatrically trained actors. Citizen Kane won the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay and the New York Critics Award for Best Film. This brings us to the end of the analysis of the movies Man with a Movie Camera and Citizen Kane. I hope you understood. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.